My parents um, came from Colombia. My great grandfather came over from uh, Czechoslovakia, and uh, I believe the names are on Ellis Island. I came from Guyana, South America. I came as a student uh, 30, 45 years ago. I have Ireland coming back probably three generations coming through uh, Ellis Island. Then I have Italian immigrants four generations back. But then I also have 14, no, even more generations back coming over on the Mayflower. There's too many people just come in and I think we have a lot of problems in our country financially because of the people who have come here who haven't gotten jobs and are playing the system. Yes, we should set up a policy. We need to vet people as they come into the country because uh, things have changed. But we don't eliminate whole groups from coming in. There does have to be some sort of regulation so we can account for people that come in and you know make them citizens eventually. Get educated and get out there and talk to people who are in fear and listen to people's stories. I think we've got to secure the borders. We've got to check people that are coming in. There definitely needs to be a little bit more structure and a different pathway to actually make people stay here who actually want to be here because this is a great country, but we need to work on some things. I think that closing down all of your borders entirely is not the correct solution. Letting everyone in completely at will with no regulation is not the, the solution. I think there's a certain medium ground that needs to be found. Well, I think they should screen them who's coming over here because years ago with me, they screened me medically, educationally. So you got to say physically, before I come here, I, I had to pass through all those things. I don't think that people should be judged over their religious backgrounds. I mean, like, this is the United States. It's supposed to be every race, color, creed, and religion. As much as I'd love to let in every single person from Syria and Iraq, what happens if you do let in someone who, you know, has those anti-American uh, feelings and wants to do damage to the United States? Our government often has responded to countries with refugees who have oil, or natural resources that we're interested in rather than taking a look at the human situation. I don't believe we should support them. I believe they should support themselves. I feel like the path towards uh, better education or um, better living or is to learn the language. I do think the community could absolutely do more, whether it's organizations to welcome people in or affordable housing, education. Um, I think a combination of those things would just help those people come in, uh, get to build a life, and then start giving back to the community by you know, working, getting jobs.